One of the things that I've tried to do is to, to change the misperception that environmental agencies are actually about the environment. Mm. Um, I know we are, uh, but we're actually incredible public health agencies. And I think I, I agree with Tony on a couple of things. One, apple pie is really good. <laughs> uh, but, but also, I, I agree that, you know, I really think that it is a value issue. Um, and I think the, I'm trying to figure out how you talk about climate change in a different framing. Mm -hmm. And I want something to connect the dots, which is what, what I was interested in in the environmental world was, was about how to protect people, not the planet. You know, I keep explaining to people that we're not actually saving the planet. No matter what we do to the planet, it's not going to die. It's going to keep revolving. We are the ones that are at existential risk. So it is about saving people. So my job now is to explain that this is about our health, our future, and our children's future. If there is anything that connects us, it has to be that. So if we can change the way in which we talk about it to make this not about what's horrible and awful, but what we all value, and how to move that forward with sensible solutions, not ones that need to be demanded, but ones that we should be demanding, then we will win. Mm -hmm. And I just don't understand why we can't get through the nonsense around the solutions to talk about, have you, you know, if, is planting trees really the most abusive thing that the government can want to do? <laughs> how about lots more playgrounds? How about agriculture that doesn't pollute water? How about agriculture that actually grows nutritious food that you would actually want to eat? You know? I mean, every solution, if you've driven an electric vehicle, tell me you want to go back to an internal combustion engine. Because I'll run you over once and I'll back up and run you over a second time. And you'll never hear me coming in either direction.